Ten days ago, the Civic Theater stage looked like this. Crews were frantically unloading trucks filled with all the elements needed to bring Robert Brill's set design for Moby Dick to vivid life. Well, the crew behind us, there's probably about 50 guys, plus the uh, technical director from Dallas and a couple other programmers for lights. Ron Allen is director of production at the San Diego Opera. Overall, by the time we get this show up, we're going to have several hundred people worked on the show. That's far more people than it took to man an actual whaling vessel. Allen and his crew are essentially bringing novelist Herman Melville's famous whaling ship, the Pequod, into the theater so audiences can join Captain Ahab in his mad pursuit of Moby Dick. Brill's challenge was to bring more than just the Pequod onto the stage. But eventually arrived at the idea of this floor surface that was both floor and wall uh, that could be traversed by the chorus, and that could be many things. It could be the deck of a ship, or serve as a screen for projected images of the ocean and of a 3D, computer-rendered image of the ship, a ship that feels like it's coming right into your lap. We did a lot of research on um, whale boats and how they're constructed. The boat that you see created in 3D was modeled after a period whaling vessel. So we thought that maybe there was a way to integrate the projected idea of a ship, and very quickly that turned into um, using the idea of the universe in the opening. I think because the way we introduce it is that it starts from the constellations and connecting those lines, and as an audience member you see the lines and you yourself see it assemble. So you're doing, you're involved in that process of seeing the ship evolve, and then you see the ship go on its journey. Brill's design serves to find a perfect balance of elements. You know, trying to find this balance of something that could be both abstract and at times could be very real. And there are moments when everything comes together in perfect harmony. I think that the whale boat scene, because it is in many ways so literal, yet on stage, it's such a simple and kind of abstract idea. And it's, it's a very beautiful moment where I think all the departments are working together where you see both projections and scenery and costumes and lighting and all of that come together. The set proves to be simple, elegant, and at times breathtaking. It also incorporates a spider web of rigging for the chorus to climb and interact with. It not only gives them something to do, but it helps create the illusion of being on a ship. The rigging of the ship seemed to be the thing that, if we used it in the right way, could be the most beautiful to look at, but it was a question of how much rigging and what parts of the rigging to eliminate, and that it was just graphically interesting without being absolutely accurate. For instance, when we were looking at the uh, the rigging on the ship, there are usually lines, vertical lines, and there are horizontal lines. And we said when we add all the horizontal lines in, you know, it feels like we're doing Gilbert and Sullivan. It feels like, you know, something that now you want to see the rest of the ship. But when we used just the vertical lines, it enhanced the vertical lines of the ship. There's also a moment when the ship opens up to reveal where they render blubber into oil. The moment in the opera when they're rendering, you know, this big piece of blubber, uh, we, we needed finally to see something. Unlike a movie where CGI can create anything in vivid detail, Brill asks audiences to fill in details with their own imaginations. I think we're just giving them enough to take them on that journey, and they really have to go the rest of the way with it. Brill hopes audiences, like Ahab, will become obsessed with that elusive great white whale, Moby Dick. <laughs>